Hello, welcome. Today is Wednesday and coming at you live to give a midweek connect video, um, a chance to um, check in with everyone um, and to share some things happening in the life of our church this week at Foothills. My name is Becca and it's a joy to serve as a pastor here. Now, um, I've heard the advice that it's not polite to talk about religion, politics, and money. I don't know if, have, maybe there's more to that list, but those are the top three I've um, heard recommended to not talk about perhaps when you get together with your extended family at a Thanksgiving meal. But today, I am here to talk about all three, politics, money, and religion. Now, religion, we're a church, so I think there's no avoiding talking about religion as a church. Um, but politics, so today our national attention is heavily focused on the election results as they come in, and there's a lot of anxiousness, and um, today um, I'm sure Many people are hitting that refresh button over and over to see if there's any news that has come out um, since the last 10 minutes you checked. Um, and as church, we are not partisan. We do not um, believe that one person or one party or one um, idea has the monopoly on the gospel message. But at the same time, we are political. Um, everybody is political um, and everything we do is political because um, as faithful people, are um, when we show up and use our voices to vote in elections, it's a chance for us to um, prioritize our values as people of faith. And so my prayer um, right now during this election is through my understanding of my faith, my values um, rest heavily upon Micah 6, 8, to do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly. And so that's been my prayer um, this whole election season and continues to be it today. So my prayers are with you. If you are anxious in this moment, no matter where you are or who you are, um, I'm praying with you. Um, but the other thing that I've always been told, you know, it's taboo to talk about is money. But um, I'm actually excited to talk to you about money. And it seems so strange because if there was ever a difficult year to have a stewardship campaign, it seems like maybe this would be that year. How do you, how in the world do we have a successful campaign during a pandemic while there's so much uncertainty? But I am feeling so much hope because Foothills, this church has taught me so much about um, God's abundance. And even during a time of great need, the church has showed up and continued to be um, so generous through their giving. And it's allowed us to continue our mission and ministry in significant ways. And so I wanted to give you a sneak peek. Today in the mail is going um, to be, or what's going to be put in the mail today is our stewardship campaign materials. And um, I'm excited about it because it's the work of a culmination, a culmination of um, our ministry leaders who have been working to um, pray and discern plans for this new year. Um, and so I wanted to give you a sneak peek. Um, hopefully in your mail in the next couple of days, this will come show up. And if it doesn't, um, you can check the church, check in with the church office to see if we have your right correct mailing address or, or if we might need to update it. But we'll also make all of these materials available online for you as well. But you'll get a big envelope and inside your envelope there'll be a little letter describing that. Um, and then this is the piece that I'm so excited about because it just came in the mail today which allows us to send out the complete mailing and it's our narrative budget. Every um, year at Foothills we have a tradition of translating our line item budget um, all the numbers in translating it in written form and in pictures to share about the stories of what we've done as a church and where we hope to go and how your giving will help make that possible. Um, and so normally it's not fun to talk about money, but at Foothills, I feel like it's completely different. Um, I have joy about it because there's just so much good things happening um, right now and I have hope for what's in store for us. The narrative budget is structured around our message of following Jesus, loving God, serving others, welcoming everyone. 
Um, and then it's broken into how much percentage for different things. And then in addition to that, there's a little freebie. Who doesn't like a freebie? My kids love stickers. And this year we put in a sticker of our church logo um, that you can use however you'd like. And if you want more of these, um, we'd be glad to give you more too. But there's one in each mailing. And then there's a pledge card where you can um, put in how much um, you plan to be able to give in the next year. And this allows us to best um, be good stewards of our resources and make wise decisions on what we are actually going to be able to faithfully do this next year. Um, and there's many ways you can turn this in. You can mail it back to the church or you can go to our church website, foothillsdisciples.com slash giving, find an online version to fill in there. Or you can bring it with you on Sunday morning to our courtyard worship service at 10 o'clock. Um, our Sunday that we're focusing on, our commitment Sunday, is not this Sunday, but the next Sunday, November 15th, I believe, if that's a, if that's a Sunday. Um, but know that you can um, submit that anytime before then. You don't have to wait until then. So I am excited, and I hope you'll join me in prayer for our church as we do this faithful work of stewardship. Um, and I pray that it continues to be one that is associated with abundance and joy um, and that real lives are impacted by your faithful giving um, because it allows our mission and our ministry to have even greater impact in our community and around the world. Um, I just noticed I'm really bad about charging my phone and I just noticed it has a warning light. So um, if this crashes and I disappear, that's why. So I'll try to wrap up real quick. But um, let's see. Hi, Allison. It's so good to see that you're watching. And you and Linda and Jeremy. I hope y'all are doing well. Um, and if you have advice for others, I am, am so thankful to be part of a community who is able to give sage advice on how they're finding joy in today's like today. I've heard from friends who've suggested going for a walk, drinking a glass of water, reading some scripture, listening to music. Um, doing anything that will bring you a sense of peace and draw you closer to God's spirit. Um, let's see what else I wanted to tell you about. This Sunday, November 8th, we are going to be having a um, Discover Foothills informal Zoom call, and it's designed for anyone who's new who'd like to learn more about our congregation. Um, and I'll put information on how to find that, but it's at 11.30 after worship. And um, if you're here in person, we'll have a distance way to participate. And if you're joining from online, you'll be able to join us that way. But it's a chance to get to know a few other people, ask questions you might have, um, and we hope you'll join us for that. The other things, um, there's an elders meeting this Sunday at 1 p.m. And our worship service will be outside again this Sunday, but streaming online. So join us either way. Um, if you do plan to join us in person out in our courtyard, remember to bring a mask and a chair if you have one um, as we work on um, social distancing. And feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns or if there's any way I could be praying for you. All right, I hope the best for you and um, love getting the chance to say hello today. And um, Hi, Janice. I'll just check in to see who else is here. Good to see your name and face as well. All right. Take care. Bye.